in the kitchen with David. Her name is Lisa Lilly, and you know her probably best as the hungry girl. And she is the one that brings us great food, but not food that's going to expand our waistlines. And we're thrilled to have you back. Mwah. Great, great to see to you. Be here. What a pleasure. My and pleasure. And congratulations on book number 10. Thank you. You know what? Having written two books in this cookbook, Food Space, I know that it is a very crowded space, and there are a lot of people in there that are doing the kind of things that you and I have done. Very few people have authored 10 books, and that's an exciting accomplishment. Congratulations. Thank you. I love food, and I can't stop creating easy recipes. And we're glad that you do, because everything in this book, Lisa, is dedicated to your lifelong ambition to help people eat great food, but also eat food that's good for them. Exactly. And I like to change with the times. What the people want, I like to give them. And this book is filled with a lot of fresher ingredients, healthier recipes that are all nutritionally balanced. It is just, I I'm so proud of this book, and it's hardcover. It That's is hardcover. You don't usually get a hardcover <laughs> book at a price like this, and I'll tell you, we've got 200 recipes inside, all brand new, and all designed to help you enjoy great food without having the guilt of the waistline getting a little out of control, right? Exactly. All right, so what we want to do is remind everyone that there are great recipes inside. Nutritional information comes with every single one. With every single one. So where shall we begin? Okay, I don't, well, you tell me. There's a lovely French toast right over there. Well, that looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm looking behind it me at my tasters here. And you know what? Let's start here. Is okay, this that is shepherd's? an upside-down shepherd's pie. Ooh, I love, I love that. it. Now, I am a shepherd's pie maniac. Okay. It is one of America's favorite comfort foods. And that's over on the far end it's of the table, It's over on guys. the far end of the table here. And again, all of my entrees in this book have less than 350 calories. And look at the serving sizes. They're huge. Now, so, what do you do to lighten this up? Well, that's not potatoes on the bottom. You won't believe it when you taste it, but that is mashed cauliflower that, you know, we had a few little secret kidding? ingredients. No, there's no potatoes in there at all. It's oh my gosh, and the filling flour. is so good and so hearty. It's extra lean ground beef, there's mm. gravy, there's petite veggies, mm. and the stats on that are through the roof. Oh, oh there's a man, happiness. is that good. Oh, so, so good. <laughs> now, I also am very excited about these. These are apple cinnamon wonton cups. Yes. Exactly. Tell me about these well, because they look fantastic. All right, I'm an apple pie aholic, and I like, I love apple cinnamon. And these, the vehicle, instead of having a really oily, greasy crust, I use wonton wrappers and I bake them. Ooh. And two of these have only 93 calories. So I get two of these, and it's less than 100 calories. Less than 100 calories. It's topped with a little bit of vanilla Greek yogurt for mm -hmm. ah, there it is for some mm. creaminess. Mm. And you feel like you're eating a big, mm. gooey, decadent slice of apple pie. It's absolutely apple pie in a little cup. And, and they're I cute. Get two of these two. for less than happy dance, <laughs> happy dance. Mm. Lisa, these are yummy. I'm glad you love mm. them. I mean, they, my goal is always to make things that taste, if not better than the real thing, as close as possible to the real thing with a fraction of the I calories. I love the texture because apple pie, we always get kind of a, a, a moist crust or one that's flaky, but we don't get the texture. You get a little crunch and you get the wonderful sweet apples and the yogurt is creamy. You're a genius. Oh, well, These are thank marvelous. thank you, as now, are you. Let's I'll tell you, 800 of these books are gone. Let me grab your book. I want to show everybody the inside. Gorgeous color photos. Let me show you, look at this. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> Beautiful, gorgeous color photos of your recipes. You love Lisa Lillian because she takes all of the mystery out of eating well. She gives you and delivers fantastically delicious food that is all good for you, that all has the nutritional information so you know exactly what you're eating, what your calorie count is, and you can use this as a great help to you as you're pursuing your weight loss goals. Absolutely, and I want to say one other thing. The recipes in this book are so easy, and I think that's why Hungry Girl has endured and why I have 10 books. Because when I first started out, when I got married, my mother-in-law, who's watching at home right now in Memphis, hi, Carol, she said, I love Lisa, but she can't cook. And boy, have I proven her wrong. And it's only go. because of how easy these recipes are. So if I can do it, anyone at home can do it. Well, let me look behind me on my table here. Brownies. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk brownies. And these are your double chocolate brownies? Double chocolate brownie bites. Again, you can make them in minutes. And they are moist and delicious and only 94 calories. They're almost cake-like. They, well, they're very cake-like. I want and you to see this when I break this open. Check this out, you guys. I'm going to break it open and look at how, let me put that down. Look how soft this is. Look, hello, hello gorgeous, how you doing? <laughs> That's a double chocolate cakey brownie. And I can have this whole brownie and it's how many calories? 94 calories. <laughs> I'm in love. And there's some mm. fiber in there. 
which is really good for you because it's made with canned pumpkin. There's no oil, there's no butter, and it tastes like a gooey dick and I won't get chocolate on you, but I'm gonna hug you. I'll take you it. sweet you thing, I love honey. these. These are so, so good. Just and they're for you. so moist and they're so perfect, you guys. Don't miss out on this. Everyone is grabbing their book. And remember, it's less than $20, ships out on the 28th of April. What's next, my dear? Okay, pizza. Everybody loves pizza. You think if you're, you know, watching your weight, you can't have pizza? I have pizza stuffed mushrooms. Oh, yum. Now, again, you can kick all your pizza cravings. You hit all those buttons for less than 100 calories. You get six of these. Now, what about this? You can make spaghetti with bolognese sauce, but that's not real spaghetti, is it? No, it's spaghetti squash. And you can make spaghetti squash, I don't know if you know this, in a slow cooker. So I do know a that. A lot of people, okay, yeah. of course you know it. But a lot of people at home might not. And the thing I love about that is that it's so easy. A lot of people think spaghetti squash is sort of a mysterious item in their little Oh, I have that back here. Great, great, oh, great. Oh, there here it is. Go. You're eating it. I wasn't sure that there was a sample back here. Yes. If I open my eyes and look, I see. I know it's crazy. How and so works. when you save the calories and the carbs from the actual spaghetti, you load it up with that mm -hmm. chunky, zesty, tomato meat sauce. You guys, sauce. I love spaghetti and meatballs as much or more than the next guy. But I'll tell you, if you want to immediately take those carbs out of what you're cooking, use the, the spaghetti squash, you won't know the difference. It's crazy it's good. Absolute, and it's so easy to use. You just scrape it. It's actually really fun. You probably burn extra it, calories scraping the spaghetti squash. And it comes out squash. just like spaghetti. As soon as you scrape it out, it comes out just the way you need it to. It's just perfect. Mm. Yum. So good. Now, Miss Lisa, 2,000 books are gone. We are very busy on our phone lines. What are these old chips? Okay, I love, again, I love potato chips, and if you put a bag in front of me, the whole thing will be gone. I'm right these, there with you, sister. These are made of vegetables, so those are beet chips, and also I have faux fried zucchini, so if you're the kind of person Ooh. that likes fried zucchini, that's made with a high fiber brand cereal coating. Oh, really? And it's baked. And it's so baked, it's not, not fried. fried. Exactly. Mm. And you get a huge serving of those for, again, 100 calories. So I get a great big handful of these for 100 calories. Yes, more and than a handful. So good. Well, maybe your hands. Yes, well, my they're hands. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lisa, those are delicious. So, so good. Now, what are these in the little foil pouches? All right, I love easy cooking. Anything you can throw in a foil pack and just toss in the oven and serve to the whole family okay. is a home run. This is Hawaiian chicken foil packs. Huge serving size, less than 350 Oh, calories. I have a Hawaiian chicken pack back here. You have your own Hawaiian chicken pack. I love that. It's teriyaki sauce. It's got pineapple, bell peppers, onions, chicken, and the serving size is massive. It'll keep you full for hours. Oh, less that teriyaki than is so good. Mm, and the onions and the peppers. Oh, Lisa, this is, and this whole serving is 350 yeah, calories? Yeah, less than 350 calories. Man, oh man. And I'm not going to end this meal and say, I'm not satisfied. All right, let me tell you what's going on. Now, Frank, you said that we have our... Okay, all I have left are 1,500 books. How many have been ordered, Frank? 2,500 are gone, fewer than 1,500 remain, and we're very, very busy. In the last couple seconds, I wanna show you the inside of this book again. Every book has nutritionals, every recipe, I should say. And then gorgeous color photos. Don't miss out on this book. I'll tell you, if you want to eat great food and have that food also be good for you and good for your waistline, it's a great way to go. And I'll tell you also, you'll need is in here, prep time, cook time, nutritionals, they're all across the top. Everything you need to know is right inside this book. The Hungry Girls, this is Hungry Girl Diet Cookbook, Lisa Lillian's 200 brand new recipes. I can tell you now we have fewer than 1,000 books left to go around. Miss Lisa Lillian, you come here to me. You sweet.